Welcome everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be reviewing my neighbor Alice token. So I noticed this new token in the launch pad of Binance and I think that this has some potential plus it's free so I mean if it's free especially if you're using BUSD which is a stable coin I think you can get tokens for free and I mean who doesn't want free tokens right so currently I'm checking out their website and their gameplay it's like a virtual game where you can purchase islands and stuff I think it has some decent potential and here is the review so my neighbor Alice is a multiplayer builder game where you can buy and own virtual lands collect and build exciting items and meet new friends so I checked out their trailer. This is the trailer. My Neighbor Alice is a multiplayer builder game. Collect and build exciting items. Embark on daily quests. Dream up new adventures and meet new friends. My Neighbor Alice was inspired by the best of some of the world's most loved games. It comes jam-packed with cute unending thrills and fun narratives that twist and turn surprise and entertain. Sign up now to be one of the first to be greeted by Alice with an early access pass. So it looks like an Animal Crossing hybrid where you can play such as like a farmer and probably like I think the potential of this is just gonna be a renter or a world purchaser and then you rent it out for the community so this is what i think is the potential of this is because they're utilizing nft and nft tokens so i think it has some potential if the development of the game will be precise so their key game features are the avatars so basically like animal crossing this is the design of their avatars Basically you can modify, you can put like hats and then design your face and all this stuff. And I assume that you're gonna use Alice tokens to use as purchase for those items. That's I think how they can make money out of this game to at least they're paying investors like me tokens. So I assume that they need a lot of assets to accomplish this. So virtual islands, this is really famous. If you heard of Earth 2, it's like a virtual game as well that you basically you buy plots of land and then you wait for it to, set, to be sold again or maybe appreciate the land so I assume that's how they are gonna be using those virtual islands I think the way for you to return on your investment and your capital in this is you purchase the virtual islands and then you completely rent everything out so basically you purchase a, an entire island then you rent separate parts of it there you go there's how you make money from this game there are in-game assets that are deployed into the game and they can be bought on the marketplace such as houses animals veggies decorations or cosmetic items for the player's avatar so exactly what but I don't know if it's you can breed animals and veggies or and like make custom decorations. So then again, it's too early. I seen their video and it's too early right now to speculate on if this game is gonna be really good. But you can get it for free, then why not? So the, their main currency is Alice token. So basically, it's used to enable players to exchange NFTs to buy basically everything you want. So from land to accessories to maybe even art or decorations i think that's how they'll make game development these things are very expensive to build i think it's it's really really expensive and maybe around 20 to 30 million to build one and i think they need the, they need the capital to invest it to make this game successful so staking yield nft collateral and nft rental i think the staking yield is really decent feature of course it's like you're appreciating your own tokens or nft collateral is when you when i use nft collateral when a user buys nft from the system a percentage of the purchase price goes to a special collateral account associated with nft yeah, i think they can sell it back and destroy the 
and if they, if they wanted to but there is a percentage for the collateral so I think this is I think the main way of you making money or at least turning in your capital if you're playing this game is for rentals because if you buy a plot of land then you can rent it out just like a tenants and, and real estate so I assume that's how you have stable amounts of NFTs and tokens is by purchasing an entire place and then renting it out to other players. They have this feature called decentralized governance so basically the players will be the technical owners of this game. In history communities are always a double-edged sword because sometimes good communities make the game better and bad communities destroy games just like Robocraft. Robocraft is a sandbox war game that unfortunately get ruined by their own players suggestions. So they have a lot of investors and partners. This is the their investors and the islands. When I see the islands, if you guys zoom up picture of the islands can see that there's different places and different designs of it so that's how I think will be the main feature of the game is like you can sell fish if you're near a fish place and then if you're near a barn you can sell animals and then you can be like a farmer as well you can plant vegetables and then sell it or trees and then you make an orchard or something around those lines and I think that's that's a good grind for new players to make this game very attractive and playable. NFT Marketplace So game items could be traded through the in-game marketplace and also the NFT marketplace on other blockchains. So this is how they I guess liquefy their assets is basically creating the game that encourages more players to participate in the building of Alice World. So staking rewards, governance, it's pretty normal stuff. Again, they, they're planning on making the community be the one to suggest and basically build the entire Alice world. So the token matrix and this is the token distribution plan. So the total supply is 100,000. They didn't let us know if there's more if it's an inflationary currency or they will be printing more currency or is it gonna be deflationary where the total supply will be the same 100,000 and that's it you have a lot of roadmap and plans but again it's too early to know if this game will be very successful this is their beta and their launch
it's too early right now to speculate but if you're getting these tokens for free anyway by staking then why not so their founders are Antler Interactive I think decent gaming studio so I'm pretty sure they're not just gonna be abandoning this game that easily and I think their AR or augmented reality will be something that we'll be seeing more in the future because I assume these types of games will be more popular especially NFT tokens are skyrocketing right now and as well as of course crypto and blockchains so closing is that I really suggest you guys take some of this it's too early right now to know how how this game will work and how much this token will cost but I think in the in the near future I think it's around five to seven years of this and maybe we will see the implementation of this game and hopefully it'll be really good and rewarding don't forget to smash like and subscribe thank you goodbye